so we are on the way to Cape Coast, um, the dungeons. <laughs> We're gonna, um, I love how everybody carries stuff on their head. <laughs> I took a little herbal medicine today. Uh, so we're gonna see the type of downloads I receive. All right, bye. So we say that we're enslaved people. And then the other thing is, when we talk about the castle, we didn't stay in the castle. We stayed in the dungeon, the dungeon gym. So the, the Caucasian, the masters, they lived in the castle. Yeah. We lived in, in the, the dungeon. dungeon. Yeah. So for us, the focus is seeing the dungeon. dungeon. One time I took a swim and then I I swam the whole way I didn't turn around Man I swear It made me relax when I came down I felt liberated like free birds I'm stimulated now Plunging the way less my body's on top All of these currents might cost me my life Right now More danger finds me and follows my ties Many miles ahead of me still I'm in stride She said Hey little buddy where you going? I'm not sure but I know Still motion, you say Raya, I say Raya, these dreams may take me out to the ocean. Tell myself if I dive in it without precaution of a life jacket, then I'll dive in it till I'm exhausted and I'm type like waistline on 4D, since it's on 4D, feel like there's for me. One time I took a swim and then I One time I swam the whole way I didn't turn around Man I swear It made me relax when I came down I felt liberated like free birds I'm stimulated now Plunging the way lifts my body's on top All of these currents might cost me my life Right now Where danger finds me and follows with tides Many miles ahead of me still I'm in stride That's some good Got the now running through my body Look at my natural, I'm so exotic Dark are the berries, sweet are the fruits Deep are the wounded, deep are the roots Newbie and Dustin Brown, I'm lounging in it I'm saying the youth, I said I'm drowning in it I'm in the now, deep in the now I'm in the now, deep in the now That's some good Sejona True Officially, my name is Kwame. I'm going to be your side guide here in a seaman to slave market in the riverside. But before we start this tour, in the memories of our lost ancestors, those who lost their lives from the hinterlands to get to this place, from here to the Cape Coast dungeons, through the Middle Passage, to the unknown world, a lot of them died. So many had to sacrifice their lives for their brothers and sisters to survive the journey to get to the other side. On the plantations where they were supposed to go and work, a lot of them had to sacrifice what they had to eat for their brothers to survive every aspect of the treatment given to them. If this is not going to be a problem, I would like us to have a minute of silence in their memories. After that, I will say may their souls rest in perfect peace. Ashe, and then we will respond by saying Ashe. Please, let's have a minute of silence.
souls of our lost ancestors rest in perfect peace. Ashe. Ashe. Once again, I welcome you by saying Akwaba to a sing man's slave market in the riverside. Where of your past? That particular past will help you shape yourself, identify yourself, so that you can move forward. That's why always I tell my brothers and sisters and my moms, my dads, my great great ancestors or my uncles who return back home that you are not here because you are on vacation. Mostly we confuse ourselves. As Africans, we are in the diaspora. That's when uh, Peter Tosh said that it doesn't matter where you are. As long as you are a black person, you are from Africa. So as Africans, when you are traveling all the way from the diaspora to Africa, it's no more a vacation for you. You are not going on a fun trip, but rather returning to your home, the land of John James when it comes to NBA. You go to Michael Jordan's, you go to the racetrack, Diana and the others, uh, a lot of them we can mention. They are putting their names on the land, but still they are claiming that we are good for nothing. And we need to get our ears off those words. Just brush it off anytime they say it, and then continue doing our thing. Then we also use the elements around us. Try to meditate and then get closure with them. We'll get to the river and then we have a cleansing bath. That's when you wash your feet, you wash your hands. Did you do that when you came here? Yeah. So you do that. And probably if you are not too... Uh, Made up. I mean, yeah. You wash your face. Yeah, you wash your face. And then you proclaim and your wish. wish. Yes, and then you proclaim your wish mm -hmm. and then all that will be granted. So please, without saying much, let's all walk in. Walk in the ground. I feel like they was getting made up. Guys. Made it to the last bar where our ancestors took their last ever bar before they were sent out of this place. The whole per perimeter was also used as the auction center. And down there we have the rivers flowing through. We have two different rivers. One flows from the other shaped river. Literally, it means the river that drowns or catches. And then we have here the non consul or the slave river. When our ancestors were brought here, they were not allowed to go into the due to its nature. Today we have a low level river, but when the time comes, it rises to a level that gets very dangerous. You belong to this particular group of people. Then, for those who left in the chains, were being classified as useless commodities. And all they could do to them is to kill them rather than setting them free. So they killed them right here. Made ways to the other side of the river and then have them dump, dump in the pit. They didn't cover it, so I find it difficult calling the place the bamboo cemetery. But others prefer calling it like that. So personally, I call it the bamboo slave dumping site. Yes, they didn't cover the grave or the pit. If they had covered it, it would qualify to be called a mass graveyard. But since nature covered it, we, I prefer calling it the dumping site. So we are here today, and then just like all our brothers and sisters who have visited, we will be stepping down there for you to have a feel of the river. You feel it, and then you meditate and thank your ancestors for bringing you back to the motherland. From there, we'll be going to the first bath of return. If you feel insignificant, you better think again Better wake up because you're part of something way bigger You're part of something way bigger Not just a speck in the universe Not just some words in the Bible verse You are the living word ah, You're part of something way bigger Bigger than you, bigger than we Bigger than the picture they framed us to see But now we see it it ain't no secret, no Understand that truth about that question in your soul Look up, don't look down, then watch the answers unfold Life is your birthright, they hit that in the fine print uh. Take the pen and rewrite it Step out your estimate Step in your essence and know that you're excellent, right? Spirit is teaching, no, I'm not 
not just preaching, I'm taking my own advice Let mama let you know Mama's still trying, I can't get no days off I don't get no days off, truly I'm feeling it I had to say that thing twice Trying to be a good wife Still really hard, I can't lie But I promise you I will fight So I fight If you're feeling frustrated I'm sitting here trying to come up with the words of how I felt about um, the last bath. It was so beautiful. Um, of course, I felt extremely connected to my ancestors and this whole experience. This has got to be my favorite part of the journey. Cause that's what it is. It's a journey. It was a journey for them. Yeah, I'm happy that I was called back and I listened and I made it happen. I'm okay. Thankful for life. Thankful to be here. I walk the same ground as my ancestors and I just honor them and it just makes me realize like I have to do a better job at honoring them. Because come from a line of strong strong people gods and goddesses and the world wants us to hate ourselves so much but I won't and I will not let my ancestors down I will make them proud in everything that I do I will see the light and see God in every situation I'll be grateful for every moment and every breath of freedom that I have, I share. Given to me, legacy. Uh, we're part of something way bigger.